Isaac's AI voice has become one of the most popular across YouTube. It's got this unique lifelike quality. It almost feels like a real person speaking with emotions. Way different from the usual AI voices you hear, which can sound flat or robotic. That's a big part of why Isaac's videos are so engaging to viewers, even though he doesn't show his face like most faceless channels. So today, I'm going to show you how you can create your own unique AI voice and then tweak it to make it sound even more human. Quick tip if you're worried about monetization. YouTube isn't too concerned about other people using the same AI voice, as long as it doesn't sound robotic and your content is genuinely valuable. But if you really want to stand out in the sea of faceless channels, stick around to the end. I'm going to walk you through the steps to edit your AI voice to make it sound like nobody else's. And hey, if you find this video useful, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and maybe drop something nice in the comments. Plus, if you stick with me to the end, I'll share a cool trick to get free voiceovers. Definitely something you won't want to miss. All right, let's dive in. The first step is generating a unique AI voice. Now this is where a lot of faceless channels miss the mark. Most people just go to Eleven Labs, browse the voice library, and pick one they like. Sure, that works, but I found two main issues with this approach. The first problem is that loads of faceless channels might be using the same AI voice now, or could eventually start doing so. And the second issue? Well, Eleven Labs actually allows the creators of these voices to pull them from the library. So if the owner decides to do that, creators who use that voice are suddenly stuck rebranding their entire channel. Luckily, this isn't as tricky to fix as it sounds. Instead of going with one of the pre-made voices, try designing your own. You can hit the Randomize button to see different options, but for this demo, let's actually type in our own prompt. They provide a sample text for the preview, but I recommend using something different. Something that feels more like what you'd actually want in your videos. Oh, and heads up. If you run into an error where a certain word is causing issues, just remove that word. Eleven Labs seems to have some words flagged for who knows what reason, but taking them out should let you move forward smoothly. Now, play the generated voices and see which one sounds best to you. AI voices no longer need AI voices no longer need Don't worry if you don't nail it on the first try. Just keep generating until you find something that feels like it fits. For this demo, we'll go with this one. AI voices no longer need to be emotionless or mass generated. Go ahead and give it a name, pick your language, and even add a little description if that helps. Once you've done that, you can start using it right away by pasting in your text. But yeah, you might notice it sounds a bit too robotic at first. Don't worry, I'll show you how to give it a more human touch. Here's a trick. Read through the script in your head and start adding punctuation where it feels natural. Think about where you'd pause, where you'd emphasize. Commas, periods, capital letters for extra emphasis, and even exclamation marks to inject some excitement. Add a hyphen to join words when they need to flow together smoothly, and use commas or even three dots when you want a short pause without a full stop. These little tweaks make a big difference. Go ahead and make these adjustments to your whole clip before jumping into the settings. When you're ready, try playing around with the stability setting, but keep it between 45 and 50, and set the similarity somewhere around 70 to 80. Make sure style exaggeration remains at none while tweaking these settings. Now, for anyone looking to create unlimited voiceovers for free, I've got some good news. You can now use your favorite AI to generate pretty solid voiceovers at no cost. Here's how. Start by downloading OBS from their website and make sure it's installed. Once you open it up, confirm that the audio source is set up here. If you don't see it, just add it from this menu and then you're good to start recording. Mine shows stop recording because I'm already recording my screen. Here's where it gets really cool. Head over to ChatGPT and go to the speech settings. You'll see a few voice options, so go ahead and listen to each one. Once you've picked your favorite, type this command along with the text you want to use for your voiceover. ChatGPT will generate a voiceover based on exactly what you typed in. Now comes the best part. Just click this icon and ChatGPT will start narrating your text. All right, guys, I finally uncovered the secret to creating human sounding voiceovers just like this guy. Yes, your AI voice can sound exactly the way you intended it to. It sounds good, but I'm picking up a bit of attitude in the voiceover. The tricks we used in Eleven Labs won't work here, so instead, try tweaking the prompt a bit to adjust the tone. Check out the result, it sounds way better. All right guys, I finally uncovered the secret to creating human sounding voiceovers like this guy. Yes, your AI voice can sound the way you intended it to. And the best part, it's totally free. You don't even need a plus plan to make this work. Once you're happy with the narration, stop the recording and import the recorded file into CapCut. Once you're in CapCut, all you need to do is add the clip to the timeline, extract the audio and export it as an MP3 file. And just like that, you've got yourself a free premium quality voiceover that's ready for editing. 
For editing, we'll be using a free app that works on multiple platforms. I've tested it on mobile and it works perfectly. For Windows, I'm not completely sure how well it runs, but Mac users will need an emulator since it only functions smoothly on iPads and iPhones. If you need a free emulator, download and install Android Studio. Start by importing your voiceover using the file manager. You can use the controls at the top to play your voiceover. Now that it's ready, let's dive into editing. Head over to the effects section and check out what's available. I know it might look a bit overwhelming, but don't worry. I'll guide you through exactly what to do. The first effect I want to show you is this one. It's great for making your voiceover sound either thicker or thinner, depending on the vibe you want. To make the voice sound thicker, just slide to the negatives like this. All right, guys, I finally uncovered the secret to create. For a thinner effect, push the slider to the positives. All right, guys, I finally uncovered the secret to creating human sounding voiceovers like this guy. Here's a pro tip. Hit the play button and move the slider to find the pitch level that sounds just right. From my testing, anything beyond two in either direction starts to sound pretty strange, so keep it within that range. Once you're happy with the setting, save it as a preset so you can use it again easily. Now let's apply this setting and move on to the next effect. If the original pitch of your voiceover already sounds good to you, just skip that part and move straight to the next effect, adjusting the speed. AI voiceovers can sometimes be a bit slow, so this step is crucial. Move the slider to increase or decrease the speed. The higher the number, the faster the voiceover will go and vice versa. Just a heads up, don't overdo it or it might start cutting off words. A small increase like plus one or two usually works well. Once you're happy with it, apply the changes. Now it's time to add the main effects. Head over to the effects section and select equalizer. This part is key, so pay close attention. If you want to add some bass to your voiceover, increase the first few bars. If you're looking to boost the treble, try adjusting the bars on the other end. Keep playing your audio as you tweak these settings so you can hear the changes as you go. You'll notice the differences as long as you keep testing the adjustments. Remember, the settings I'm using here might not be perfect for your voiceover, so don't be afraid to experiment until you find the right balance. This voiceover is sounding pretty good, but the volume is a bit low. To fix this, adjust the preamplifier slider to boost the volume. No need to crank it up too high, just make sure the levels don't reach the red zone. For this voice, 6 was a bit much, so I've dialed it back to 5. In most cases, a range of 4 to 6 works just fine for AI voiceovers. It might seem like a long process, but you only need to set this up once. Just save each of these settings as a preset, and then you can apply them whenever you need. Next up, we're adding the compressor effect. All you need to do here is adjust the threshold, ideally keeping it between 12 and 18. Easy as that. Now for the final touch, the reverb effect. You'll notice there are a few presets here. Feel free to explore them, but the one we need is this specific one. You might notice a bit too much echo, so try decreasing the input bandwidth to zero. Then set the room size to somewhere between 150 and 160. That range usually works well. Keep the damping at 50% and set the dry level to zero. You can play around with the reverb time if you'd like, but four to six seconds generally sounds good. For the early reflection level, hit play and adjust it until you find what fits best. Do the same for the tail level until you're happy with the overall sound. Once you're done editing, just export the file using the file manager and your AI voiceover is ready to drop into your video. All right, guys, I finally uncovered the secret to creating human sounding voiceovers like this guy. Yes, your AI voice can finally sound the way you intended it to. If you're not sure how to edit your video, I've got you covered. Check out my full tutorial on using CapCut's free version for all your editing needs.